All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Gun wide, trips deep. Pros next, go. On one, on one. Ready? Three. Ready. What's going on everyone, ancap24 here from huddle.gg. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to absolutely torch the defense using some unique routes out of the backfield. Now, if this is the first time checking out our channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also hit that bell notification to make sure that you never miss any of our uploads. Now, the formation I wanna go into is the gun empty Y slot. This is a formation that I really like because it has a special motion that allows for a running back to start out and empty and then go into the backfield. We just did a game plan on the uh, gun empty bunch wide that has the same opportunity to do so. And it's really a nice tactic to be able to keep your opponent on their toes. And a lot of times what ends up happening is that they just, they think that you're audibling to spread and they're just not, aware that it's going to happen. So I want to kind of show it to you. Now, my favorite route in this formation is the stick and nod. And it's something in which I like to attack users or anybody that's doing a, some type of um, defense where they're putting their players to where they're, they're covering the outsides, you know, something like this to where they're covering the outsides and they're basically making sure that they're um, going to, you know, cover the, the running back themselves. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you if I move, motion the um, the running back left, he goes across the formation. If I go ahead and motion this running back to the right, he's going to go to the backfield. So it's a little bit of a special motion that you're probably not going to find unless you're really lapping something up because uh, there's really no reason to motion him to the right. But when he motions to the right, it turns into a nice spread offense, but it has this nice stick and knot wrap. What I love about this is that when people are using the running back, they're really, really aggressive about taking away that table route or any type of out route because they think that they're gonna be able to jump it. This route absolutely makes them pay if somebody's aggressive. So watch what happens here. The guy's gonna to go to the outside, they think it's that, and now you're just basically throwing it over the top for easy play. Now, this is, works amazing in regs when you're going against a linebacker or a safety. And then I'm having a lot of success as well in Mutt when I'm going against a user. Now that user, it's not like you're gonna be able to fool him more than once, but if you see that you've got an aggressive user, this is what I put in the back of my mind and I'm gonna kind of use that play, right? Now it's not the only route that's gonna be really successful in this formation. If you look at inside smash, what you're gonna see is that you get this really nice deep corner. I can smart route this corner and motion him to the backfield. Now this is gonna be really good against your cover threes, where I can put the RB on a streak and kind of do a, um, basically a flood concept, you know, a flood smash concept over here on the right hand side. And what you're gonna see is that this A is gonna get in a nice spot. You're gonna be able just to throw it to him and get yourself some nice easy yards. And that was against the cover three where they were um, in curl flats. Obviously if they're hard flats, it's gonna work even better. You know, there's opportunity maybe from the other hash, I can use this four vertical spike. And the four verticals play is going to put this guy on a, um, a crossing route. So I'm going to motion him right. So he goes left. I'm going to put, you know, same type of route concept, basically, right? Do something like this to where um, I'm going to pull down the, the curl flat over there. And you're going to see that maybe I'm going to put the B on it in just to make sure that I have a backside option, right? What you're going to see here is the A is going to go through the spot. And you're just waiting for him to kind of clear the zones and throw it right there, right? So it all depends on what you're looking for, right? If you wanted to get that one player deeper, what you can do is you can take the four verticals, you can put the X on a streak, and then maybe put the, the Y on a whip, you know, something like this, motion to the right, put this over here. But when you're going against, you know, you know, cover threes, what you're gonna notice here is that that guy is going to, you know, have that little spot that, that is open, right? So it goes through that spot. If you get any pressure, you're throwing it to the B underneath, but you can see here that this guy's gonna get open and get yourself some more yards, right? that type deal. So there's a lot of different things you can do when it comes to using this. Now, another thing I want to show you here is um, how to utilize in routes and out routes before you motion them. So say I'm taking this A on an in, right? If I put him into the backfield, what you're going to see is that he's going to have like a baby in. If I try to smart route it now, what you're going to see is it turns into an option route, right? Well, what if I go ahead and I take the in and I put him on a smart route and in, then motion him, they keep that route, right? So it's a nice route to where if you're going against somebody that, you know, you have a good running back, he's gonna have that nice cut on the inside, catch that ball, get up the field, and just another route for them to have to worry about. 
Now the same thing can apply for an out route. In this, in this formation, it's nice because it's got a play called Flood Switch that has an out route that we can keep a really deep out route if we wanted, or we can smart route it and then bring them down. I'll just do the deep out route real quick just so you can see it. So we'll do the Flood Switch, move them over. And again, this is gonna be something that you're going to kind of, you know, do, you know, Flood if you wanna do this type deal, but against man coverage, you can see that the guy's gonna go over here. Now you're gonna be able to hit this guy right here and get yourself that easy catch. Out routes are really good, especially when you've got somebody that's got some good backfield master or uh, any match um, type of um, uh, advantage. You know, the um, depending on what they're going against, you know, if they're going against linebackers or safeties, they get that catch. As long as you hit them, they're going to be in good shape. So that's why I really like these routes from here. Um, there are some routes I just want to make sure that you know. Like, say I put um, the running back on, let's say, a, a drag route. It's not gonna turn into a drag route. What it's gonna do is it's gonna turn into a swing route, right? So anything that doesn't register in the backfield as a route that they can use, um, you can't hot route it. But what's really nice is if you have hot route master, you can put a crosser out there, you can put a post, you can put a corner, um, uh, you can put pretty much you know the stop and go as well. But what I'm saying is, is you have the ability to kind of change what your route is and then move them to the backfield. So just want to kind of teach you this concept that does happen in a few empty formations. Like I said, we just did a game plan on one and this empty white slot is one that I really like just because it has the ability um, to pair well with the empty stack that we've, we've done a lot on. You can see that it, you can basically you know toggle in and out of some of those empty sets and have a lot of success. So um, definitely try this, put it in your customs if you're doing regs um, or the Jets playbook's a really good playbook to use. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm enjoying labbing a little bit more out of it. And this empty wide slots are really nice, fun play um, designs to, to really get you to torch that defense.